to check another abinitio interview related question so it's a scenario based question basically the question is how to get second highest value in group by customer id okay let's say in the sorted group or you know in the group i need to achieve the second highest value or second lowest value or you know whatever nth highest value or nth lowest value i have to achieve so the similar kind of questions we get into sql queries right and similarly the question can be asked in abinitio so try to utilize abinitio component library and solve this question so what we need to do is we need to we know that uh, uh, you know a second highest in the sense of within the group i need to achieve the second highest so i need to have some kind of grouping so i need to think about grouping uh, processing in when we say grouping there are um, uh, you know roll up and scan so roll up do the aggregated for a group but we we don't need kind of aggregation here you know so we are going to utilize a scan and uh, because it's in a group based processing so we think that we need to have some kind of sorting as well because it's a number second highest third highest you know to decide upon those numbers from the highest ascending or descending we need to have the data sorted so what we can do is we can uh, have an input we can sort those data and we what we can do is we can apply the scan component and scan because it's an every record can be all eligible for output right every record in the scan okay also it can you know do the group based uh, group based processing so key is going to be the customer id for a particular customer i need to get the highest value okay and then the output so how we are going to achieve it in the scan um, process so because the scan is a multi uh, multiple you know transform component so there are multiple functions provided in scan component which we can you know customize it and we can utilize it so we will declare a sequence id as a temporary type we will have a declaration of temporary type sequence id as of decimal type i can declare and then i can initialize it with it with a zero value so initialize with zero and then scan so out dot sequence id i am going to be incrementing for each and every record within a group right so temp dot uh, sequence id will temp dot sequence id plus 1 so okay so every time the sec this is going to be incremented so then i will go to the finalize function finalize function is for the to do the output basically to prepare the record for the output so in that i have a sequence id and i have a temp dot sequence id assignment so this will this is an extra column in output let's say and uh, it will be you know the number it will be there okay. within a group let's say five records so 1 2 3 4 5 it will be assigning it okay because we have sorted the data let's say second highest value in the sense of i need to uh, sort the data customer id salary let's say salary it is in or a transaction value let's say based on which we need to get highest value highest transaction value so what i can do is sort customer id um, transaction value descending okay so i can assign these numbers so for second record right first the first would be assigned for the maximum value transaction value second is second highest transaction value right these kind of numbers i will have so what will be the sequence numbered id one for the particular group is uh, for the uh, for the maximum let's say transaction value for that customer let's say transaction value is the column right for second second as sequence id is going to be let's say sequence id right second sequence id is going to be second highest transaction value second that i want to achieve right second highest likewise i can number to every person within the group 
role particular group right and finally in output select there is a function called output select here we can filter out all those records except sequence second if within a group if it is no record or less one record then that group is not going to be in the output let's say we have we have one record we have one customer id for a particular customer id we have only one record then that record because sequence id is never going to be two right so there is won't be output so these kind of things we need to take care what we need to output for a peep or a record wherein we have only one record right that kind of things we can take care of but but uh, uh, but, the, but the question is like i mean how to do that so we can scan that entire data set and we can pick pick the record which is you know which is the right one right so there there would there would be multiple uh, uh, multiple use cases can be sold let's say second is third is whatever highest or whatever lowest value can be achieved okay for a particular group right it could be in, within the department it could be within, within a, you know group or within any anything you know, any region or something like that so that's how you can utilize the scan component to achieve this kind of solution thank you so much please subscribe my channel and